feel like I'm the richest, most blessed woman on the face of the earth because I had this awesome life. My childhood was awesome. I, I grew up in a fantasy world, but yet um, my parents didn't go to church and I didn't know what the inside of a church is. We never prayed, I never heard anything about Jesus. And then everything collapsed and my father got cancer. And as a little girl, I heard how my father was coughing himself to death and the doctors gave him no hope. And I started dreaming, I'm going to hell. And in my heart, there was this hunger. I didn't know that the Bible said, how shall a young person keep his ways by keeping it into the Word and in God? I didn't know these things. But I had this desire to meet with God. And I think for a period of about six months, I walked around and asked everybody, can you please help me to find God? Can you please help me to find God? I'm going to hell. I was scared of hell. And everybody that I asked was, of course, not the right people. They just said, sorry, you are confused because you're a child of the covenant and you're just confused, you'll get out of it. But that night I would dream the same again. I would go to churches, I would ask my teachers and this went on and on. And by that time, my grandmother got born again and they prayed for my dad. And the next time my father went to the doctors, there was no cancer. And God did a miracle for our home. So now our whole family had to be prepared to go to church. We've never been in church. And in those days, you cannot go to church if you didn't have the right clothes. I remember I didn't even have a dress on my name. My grandmother was a dressmaker and we were making clothes for everybody. It was Sunday we're going to church. But I didn't expect what I got there. As I walked into the church, it's like I walked into the presence of God and I knew God was in this place. I felt this love that is just bigger than anything I've ever felt. I felt the joy. And I remember seeing a vision of the throne and I was like out. I was 13 years old at that stage and I didn't know nothing about God. But I was always a very going person. I was always all around. My parents never gave me a bike because they were scared I was not going to come home. I was walking around everywhere. And so my parents, they sort of let me go. And when the church was finished, I was so caught up with this, this I don't know what I felt, this love, this, it's like I've come home. I've come home. I found something that was missing in my life. And I remember just crying and I said, I'm not going to lunch. They can go fried chicken and they can do what they want to. I'm staying in church. And my mother is like, just leave her. And they left me in church and they went off to lunch and go. I stayed in church the whole Sunday afternoon. And when they came back, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I didn't know what was happening to me. And that night, because while well, I was now baptized with the Holy Spirit, they baptized me. And I got everything in one sitting and it never left me. And seven years later, I was married to Quibus von Rensburg and in the ministry, 40 years in ministry now. And it's like eight years on my own. And the love of God has never grown cold. So many things happen to you. So many things change in your life. You go through so much. But when you really experience the love of God, it changes everything. And for me, I experienced such a total change. Um, I remember the rest of my school years. We were in a school of 1,300 kids, and there was only four that actually confessed to be Christians. But I was the only one that says no. I'm not going to dance. I'm dancing a new way now. I'm not going to drink. I'm drinking from the living water. I never, ever had a desire for anything. What is so funny, I landed up preaching 
in a rehab lately, and I just love preaching in the rehabs and in the prisons where the people are so needy and they are so broken because when they find that love, it's like you're finding a treasure that you will not let go. So I just want to leave it with everyone. How will a young person keep his way? You know what? He says, seek glory, honor, and immortality, and you'll have everlasting life. But we are seeking cars, and they get wrecked. We are seeking a spouse, and we have trouble. If you seek God, he says, seek the kingdom, and the rest will be added. You know why? If you seek God first, the love of God pays your life. You don't have to try and make a way. He is the way. His love made the way for you.